What's up everybody, it's Marion. Welcome to, I believe, our fourth video on how to start over. Um, again, this is a reminder of a person with a scenario of losing their home and losing their job. They're basically with the clothes on their back, they have to start over. Um, here's the ways to do it. Today we're gonna talk about hygiene. And um, some of the things that we take for granted, um, some of the things we take for granted uh, is the ability to take a shower. Now we talked about this a little bit in our last video, um, but I wanted to get into depth um, really, really quickly. If you have to start over, out of your um, out of your budget, ten dollars is more than enough to cover hygiene and dental for a long time. Uh, number one, and forgive me for the shaking. Number one, there are five to ten products that I get that go into my pack every time. And I want to say this. When you are biking and you're out on your own or you're walking or you're having to um, live on the hoof, you, even as a man, and I'm 100% man, even as a man, think of your hygiene like a female would. Why? Because you're going to sweat much more. Um, you're going to sweat much more and you're going to be outside for longer than, um, than most situations. So one thing that you got, the one thing that I do is some type of deodorant baby powder or body powder. Um, uh, foot powder, baby powder. Powder is perfect, especially um, in, in boots and inside, um, inside your shirt or whatever. Um, I put powder everywhere because I know that I'm going to walk and I know that that's going to generate sweat, which sweat is bad in two senses. One, sweat unchecked. Um, if you're not able to, let's say you have to be able to stay on a bus or whatever, and you're unable to get to that gym in time or, or for whatever reason, you're unable to get to a gym. Um, this will keep you from sweating. Um, and then sweating, when it's cold, it's not good because that makes you colder. And if you have cotton on, they can't be dried out. That can make you potentially go hypothermic. So um, you don't want to eliminate, you don't want to not have your body sweat, but this will help you a lot. Powder. Um, I go with a powder-based deodorant too. Again, because as far as my body chemistry... This stuff is the cheap is cheaper, and right guard just goes left. Um, that's a dollar. Powder's a dollar. Deodorant's a dollar. Toothbrush, toothpaste. Four toothbrushes should last you a year, especially if you microwave these every couple of months. I nuke mine um, in a free coffee cup. Toothpaste obligatory. Um, I get a set of razors. And stick them in a Ziploc bag. And sometimes I wrap them and wrap them and wrap them in paper towel or something that I find at a truck stop or somewhere. Um, that plus some type of soap of some kind um, is something that you keep in a pack. Now, all my hygiene items go into a little stuff sack like this and goes into my bigger pack. So anywhere I go, I can take a shower anywhere um, with that being said let's talk about places uh, if you cannot afford a gym membership while you're out and about scout places that have private bathrooms again I am not going to disclose any particular businesses that that I've used because we don't want to uh, sour it for anybody that might um, yeah you don't want anybody cracking down but if a place has a private bathroom and you can time it right, um, you know, try to time it right um, and you can be able to handle your business. But you got to be quick. Um, and there, the way to do it is called a military shower. Um, I learned it from some of my military buddies. Thank you so much, by the way, for your service. You wet down, soap up, rinse off. A marine shower should only take you three minutes. And 
the you know the way I used to do it would be I'll go in the bathroom, lay out all my stuff. I have a little routine. Lay out all my stuff that I need on the, on the top on the back of the toilet. Turn on the um, back of the toilet, and um, if you're doing the um, reservoir bath that we talked about in our living comfortable without utilities video. Um, where you're using the water from the rear reservoir in the toilet versus the toilet bowl, the rear reservoir, then the great thing about it is that if anybody else is coming to use the restroom, they don't hear running water, which mean, which signals people to say, oh, this person is going to come out of the bathroom. You go in, you use the reservoir, you do that, you rinse down, soap up, uh, rinse down, I mean, uh, wet, soap up, and flush which refills the reservoir and then you um, you rinse off and you rinse off to dry meaning squeeze your squeeze the hell out of your towel and dry off as you're rinsing basically um, then after that you turn on your your fan in the, in the bathroom as a cover you wipe up while you're washing your hand while you're running the water to wash your hands and all of that should take no more than five minutes from getting into the bathroom unpacking this with a towel that's on the inside reservoir wash up rinse flush water off dry change five minutes five minutes it should take you five minutes and with practice, what normally, um, if you get good at that, then people won't feel, yeah, you'll be okay. So the key is to time, time, you know, note the days at the laundromat where there's nobody there. Note the days at the laundromat where there's very few people there. Um, like, don't do this when you have a full laundromat. Don't do this when you have a full anything. Note the times and the days where you can go in, and if you got a little money on you, you know, let's say um, you're a musician and you do a little busking or whatever, which means you go out on street corners and you play for you play for an hour or two, and someone slips you a five or whatever, or you or you pick up cans and you get you know five ten dollars worth five or ten dollars worth of cans, twenty dollars worth of cans. Um, this is where you could take that splurge money and go buy the cheapest coffee at the local coffee spot and potentially use that as a spot you just have to you'll get savvy to what works what doesn't um, you you'll be able to feel whether somebody's feeling like you're spooky or something so um, I want to stress something about hygiene listen and about appearance um, you you it's a real fine line that you want to you want to follow you want to be able to not look derelict, meaning you don't want to be, you don't want to look derelict. You want to look groomed. You want to look groomed and you want to look like you fit in whatever environment that you're in. Like, um, if you're in the city and you're in a business area or whatever um, if you're in a business area or whatever go to the Goodwill in your clothing remember how we talked about having that um, that one or two pairs that are like your job interview pair if you know there's resources or a food pantry in a kind of semi suburban business area throw your khakis on throw your khakis and your t-shirt on at least look like you're trying to play the part and what will happen is and then be very approachable nine times out of ten um, when it comes to the hygiene and appearance um, we're going we, we've, we've melted this one but hygiene and appearance come together if you can look normal and be approachable then nine times out of ten people won't give you a lot of problems um, me, I wear a lot of hunter's camo, so I throw people off. So this is the, I do the exact opposite sometimes. Um, but when I say, Hey, how you doing? Most people are like, 
Oh, cool. I'm doing fine. You know, how are you? I always say, hey, good to be on the side of the ground. I can't complain. You know, if you're approachable, um, all of that will make things a lot easier for you. But if you are so enamored in like what you're dealing with, which I know is very easy to be caught up in what you're dealing with, that th- that you're out on your own. But if you kind of isolate yourself emotionally, um, I know I know that w- when you first start out, it feels shameful or whatever. But that's just going to have to be something you put in your uh, feeling you got to put in your pocket. You have to be approachable and you have to look and keep yourself, your dignity for yourself and keep your hygiene up and keep your image up because you never know who you God might send to help you. So um, God will do it. I you know I rambled a little bit, but that hygiene piece is not just only for um, for looks and appearance, but it's for your health. If you don't wash the germs off of you, you will get sick. I know this for a fact. I have a very strong immune system. I noticed when I wore the same clothes for a week and like when 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 it was bad and my bathing was limited to to every other day or and then I'm wearing the same clothes for a week or whatever and yeah you're going to get sicker because every day you walk in the same clothes this fabric is picking up germs now I know I'm not a germ- germaphobe but when you're out there on your own everything counts so again didn't want to rant but I had to uh Really spell that out, y'all. Really spell that out. Um, No one's going to take care of you better than you except for God. Okay? So, do that for yourself. Um, Also, try, if you can, try to find a cheap battery-operated razor. Um, I keep a battery-operated razor. It was gifted to me. Um, And I actually, um, with this battery-operated beard trimmer... I cut my own hair and um, like what you see is a battery operated beard trimmer and a regular disposable razor. That's all I've used for the last year. And sometimes when I could not afford soap, I would find these private bathrooms and I would use the soap in the dispenser, you know. But um, but other than that, that, that's mainly for people who cannot afford the gym membership. You always want to go for the gym membership first because of the, the, the shelter that comes with it. But if you cannot, if you absolutely cannot, then try to scout scout out spots that have private bathrooms. Um, and I'm not going to I can't say where because each person's city is different. But scout out spots that have private bathrooms. They'll get you there. All right. God will do it. God loves you. Don't give up. Um I know this particular video I kind of came off as if this is nothing but something to do, but this is you're gonna have to find the strength on the inside to to make this thing happen for yourself. It's not the end of the world. It might feel that way, but it's not. Okay, um, you're gonna make it. So God will bless you. God bless you.